Hey everybody, I'm Mark Friedman. Welcome to the Tulip Experience Center. I'm going to show you a demo that uses a wave bioreactor integrated with Tulip to walk a user through large molecule production. So to begin this, I'm actually at the station and I can see that I have a batch that's scheduled. We're producing insulin, so I'm going to begin the batch here. We're connected to the wave bioreactor and this step is asking me to prepare my equipment. So the first thing I need to do is ensure that my temperature control is on, which it is, and the other controls aren't on. I also want to make sure that my set point is set to 23 degrees and the temperature is that way. So if I move my temperature, for example, down, you'll see the set point is moving out of range, basically enforcing that the operators are able to set the equipment to match the requirements of the production. So now that everything is set, I can continue. Now I'm being guided on how to put the bag in place and set up this equipment. In this case, we already have it set up, but I will scan the material, which will be attributed to the batch of manufacturing. And I'll continue now. You can see we have rich media work instructions showcasing how to perform this operation. And this can be any kind of content you want, whether it's asking for other inputs or checks. This is a simplified version. As you can see, the status is changing as I move along the process. And this is reflected on the dashboard for other people to see what is happening at the station and what the status is. And now I need to initiate the batch. This is where I inflate the bag and begin the production. So here I actually need to turn on the air. And when I push this button, you'll see it lighting up to confirm that's happened. There's a connection here through Modbus. As I press the rock button, it'll begin rocking the batch back and forth. And it'll also be animating on the screen to showcase the condition of this. You can see down here a machine timeline. This is understood as a machine within Tulip, and we can look at the history of this over time. So I'll be able to press next, and I'm actually in progress now. This is an interesting screen because this is a screen that will likely be running at all times at the bioreactor. What you see here on the top left is a temperature monitor of what's happening in the bioreactor. So if I were to put my hand on the temperature sensor, it should spike the temperature and create a deviation. This temperature will be displayed on the screen and it will start coming back down into range. And when that comes down into range, it will close out that deviation for approval later on. You can see on the right side, we don't have any data to display yet because in this demo, we actually take samples from the bag and send them to the lab for analysis. And then those results are sent back here. We're going to simulate that for this demo, but there's another demo that goes through the lab operations. Down here, we can see cell density, and that'll populate as more results come in from the lab, which are measuring how complete we are in producing these molecules. So I'm going to take this sample that's scheduled. This is per my schedule plan. It's going to print out a label for me. And I need to put that label on the sample and take the sample. For demonstration purposes, I'm not going to actually take anything out of the bag, but I will prepare the bottle. Pushing continue, I'm now generating samples from the lab. These processes last a long time, and we're just going to pretend like this was the last sample we're going to take. And you can see here that the pH measurements came in from the lab as well as cell density, and it's almost completing this. So I'm going to force complete this and go to next, which is going to be harvesting. Harvesting is going to have some more instructions on how to empty the bag and stop the process, and I'll complete that batch. So now that we've harvested the batch, it actually should normally go through a number of different processes, but to simplify this demo, we're just going to go right to the batch review and show you what that could look like. So as I walk over to our mobile device, I'm actually just projecting it here in a mirror screen so you can see it more clearly. I can select the batch that we just produced and do a batch review. And here I can see all the measurements that were taken by the lab for this batch, as well as the cell density any deviations that occurred, as well as an entire history here of everything that happened to this batch, when samples were taken, who started it, all the information you might need uh, for compliance is all stored here in immutable records. But you can choose in Tulip what you want to display for your batch review. This is a highly simplified version. There would normally be a number of other processes here you could include, and you could filter on those processes. For this demonstration, we're just showing the simple version of, I want to review this batch and look at my deviations. So I'm going to view those. I can select them and see what created this, how long it lasted, whether it was a minor, major, or otherwise type of deviation. I could notify the owner, and then I could choose to release the batch. So I'm going to release this batch here, and I'll sign off on this. So all exceptions have been closed or approved. I can now release this, and I'll sign off. So in this demo, we've shown you how you can use Tulip with a bioreactor to manage the workflow and control the workflow for compliance of the large molecule production. What we've done is we've controlled how users are able to change the settings of the equipment, begin a batch, as well as 
take samples from that batch and send them to another Tulip app or the lab and then receive those samples back in order to make changes to the batch as required. We've also shown you that you can create deviations or exceptions uh, within the platform and those can happen either manually or through an automation based on sensor information or lab information. All this information that we've captured throughout the entire process here is being stored in Tulip tables as well as completion records that can be made available within the batch record review so you can have other people approve of those exceptions and deviations as well as release the batch from production. Thank you.